Real talk, if editing is one of the biggest things you struggle with when it comes to creating video content, you aren't the only one. In fact, I recently posted on my community tab here on YouTube, thinking about doing some content around editing, maybe tips, tricks, hacks I use to edit mine, and clients' videos, what would you want to learn more about when it comes to video editing? And the response was, Big. Angel asked which video editing software to start with as a beginner. Mary Lou said the basics for a total beginner. And SF also said all the basic information, please. So I wanna share with you some of the best editing software you can get started with when it comes to editing your videos, even the best free editing software options. And make sure you stay to the end of the video because after editing hundreds of YouTube videos, I'm gonna share with you some of my tips and hacks that I've picked up along the way to really streamline editing and make it go a lot faster for me. Hey there, if you're brand new to my channel, my name is Trina, I am a YouTube strategist and this channel is for entrepreneurs, online business owners, and content creators who want to grow organically through online video. So if you are looking to use more video marketing in your business, make sure you hit that subscribe for brand new videos every single week to help you do that. To create videos, obviously you're gonna need to edit them, so let's walk through some of the best free editing software options for you to get started with. Now I'm gonna talk about ones that I'm familiar with and then I'm also gonna talk about ones that I've been recommended or I have heard have been great but I personally haven't tried. The first one up is iMovie. I edited on iMovie for a good three years. iMovie is free for any Apple product. So if you have a MacBook, if you have um, an iPad or an iPhone, iMovie is a fantastic place to get started editing your videos. I completely self-taught myself on iMovie and coming from a non-tech person, it wasn't that hard to figure out. It did take some time to learn um, the process and learn some of the tools and the shortcuts, but if you can stay committed to iMovie and watch a couple uh, YouTube videos on how to do it, iMovie is honestly your best option if you already have Mac products. Next up is DaVinci Resolve. Now, I personally have no experience in this, but I've heard it recommended over and over and over by other YouTubers, other creators who are editing their videos on DaVinci Resolve, and this is free, and they really seem to enjoy it and recommend it. I also have students inside of my program, Video Strategy Academy, that are using it as well, and again, they rave about it, and they say it is so great for being free, and they love what they can create inside of DaVinci Resolve. Next up, I wanna talk about that next editing software tier that isn't a lot of money, but it is some money to invest into your editing software that's not gonna to totally break the bank. And again, some of my students inside of Video Strategy Academy are using these softwares, and that's why I'm coming to you recommending them, because they have been suggested to me by actual people who are using it. First up is Camtasia. In fact, I had a student do an entire tutorial on how to use Camtasia, that we now have inside of our course, Video Strategy Academy. And I this is usually the first um, software, editing software that a lot of my students upgrade to because it is easier to figure out and it is that next level editing software, especially if you don't have a Mac. Remember, iMovie is only compatible for Mac and Apple products. Well, Camtasia works for both PC and Mac. So this is kind of that next level uh, editing software that's not gonna break the bank. The second option is called Filmora. And again, between Filmora and Camtasia and DaVinci Resolve, these are kind of the big three inside of my program for beginners. A lot of the students inside of Video Strategy Academy are beginners, and these are the ones that they are recommending to me. I can also leave below in the description box some other channels that talk specifically about iMovie, specifically about DaVinci Resolve, specifically about Camtasia, and Filmora, so you can learn more from an actual expert. Like I said, I have just heard students recommend them to me as a great option, and I wanted to pass that information along to you because so many of you want to get started without spending a butt ton of money on an editing software. Okay, next up, let's talk about that higher level editing. What's that next step? You're ready to go all in and really make an editing bang. So once I used iMovie, I then upgraded to Final Cut Pro. Again, this is only available for Mac um, Apple users and the reason why I picked Final Cut Pro is because it had a lot of similarities from iMovie. I looked at iMovie as like a Final Cut Pro on training wheels. And so when I transitioned to Final Cut Pro, a lot of the shortcuts and a lot of the things looked similar, 
but it was also way more advanced. So when I did start Final Cut Pro, it did take me a long time to learn how to get into my system and my process. Um, but the another reason why I picked Final Cut Pro is because it was a one-time fee of $300. Now, a little tip on this one. I knew I wanted to upgrade to Final Cut Pro and I knew it was $300. So what I did is I started saving about six months prior to when I wanted to purchase Final Cut Pro. So I started putting away money specifically to be able to buy Final Cut Pro. So I know $300 seems like a lot right now, but if you start saving just a little bit, you can build that money up to invest in the Final Cut Pro. and. Final Cut Pro also allows you to try it out for 90 days for free. So if you can think about how much can I save a day for the next 90 days to get Final Cut Pro because you can try it out for 90 days, save up that money, and then get it. Now, you PC or Windows users, another um, higher level editing option is Adobe Premiere Pro. <laughs> Uh, the reason why I didn't select this one is because this is on a reoccurring fee. So what that means is you are charged every single month for Premiere Pro. If you are part of the Adobe suite, this could be a great option for you because maybe it's already included in your Adobe suite, so Photoshop, um, Lightroom, those types of things. But I knew with Final Cut Pro I could just pay one fee, one price, and be done with it and get those upgrades but Premiere Pro does charge monthly. Now I have heard that they do a lot more upgrades and um, it's a lot more versatile of a program with upgrades and you know bug defaults and those types of things. Uh, but I, again, I prefer to just pay one time and be done with it. Here's my best advice when you're wondering what editing software you should use for YouTube videos. Pick one and go all in with it. I know it can be hard to get started with one and think it's too hard and wanna to jump to another one, but all editing softwares are going to have a learning curve. I had the learning curve with iMovie, and then when I upgraded to Final Cut Pro, I had a learning curve there as well, but you need to hone in on learning it. Go all in, look at YouTube tutorials. That is the best way you're going to get faster with editing, and here are my best tips for really making the entire process faster, no matter what software that you are using. So the first thing I do when I import a video into my editing software is I go through the entire video first and cut out all my mistakes. So I'm not worrying about adding text or sound or music or effects. I go through and I just completely edit everything, all the mistakes, all the pauses first. And then in the second round, I will start at the beginning of the video and start adding in call out text or animations or that music, but I do that Second, after I have all of this A-roll, so me speaking to you is A-roll, once I have all the A-roll finalized, that's when I'll start adding those extra things. During the second phase, I'm really adding to the video things that keep your eye engaged. So B-roll, so adding um, images like this over top of me talking is called B-roll. I'm also thinking about sound effects that grab your attention to see that next thing that I'm talking about. Anyway, I can show you more of what I'm speaking on instead of just telling you that's what I'm doing through this second phase. Then the third time through a video, that's when I start zooming in like this on my video. I also look for GIFs or GIFs, however you wanna pronounce it, to again, add personality and entertainment to my videos. And for certain clients, I also add their bumper. So after their hook, they have a little graphic bumper that just signals their brand. Um, so I will add that in in this third final phase as well. Now, like I said, I am at the point that I completely edit on Final Cut Pro, and I told you you could try Final Cut Pro out for 90 days. But I'm gonna be releasing a course specifically for Final Cut Pro. It's called Editing for Conversions, and I'm going to teach you everything about Final Cut Pro, how to use it from the very basics to downloading it to adding all of these animations and GIFs and sound effects that you want but we are releasing it to a wait list on September 22nd. And we are having a major giveaway for the very first person who buys editing for conversions. So if you wanna get on that list to be the first person to buy to win 250 US dollars, win the course for free and a few other goodies, make sure you click the link on your screen right now to get on that wait list to be the first person to buy editing for conversions when it opens on September 22nd. Now, while you wait, 
for editing for conversions to release, why don't you get all of your content planned and organized? Watch this video that's on your screen right now where I show you the entire process I go for planning and organizing my YouTube content so you can get ready to start bursting out videos every single week. Click on that video and I'll see you over there.